Good to see you, Hunter. We're playing the Hunter Classic, and since today we have finally a lure for the Sambar Deer. They have released a scent spray. This is the bottle, and they say don't spray it in your face. <laughs> so let's try this out. Finally, we have a lure for the really difficult to hunt Sambar. We've got a female ahead. Of course, you can spray anywhere. Doesn't have to be on an object. So let's see how this sandbar um, female is going to behave. We've got a tree stand up here. I brought my bow. So maybe we will get a few that will come to this lure now. It lasts for 10 minutes or 20 in game minutes. I don't know what's around except this one here that we saw already. Uh, she might be behind the tree there. So let's just look around. There is no collar for the sandbar and if you have hunted them you know how difficult it is, especially the, uh, the bigger males, the bucks. Really difficult to stalk. They're very sensitive. So let's wait and see what happens. Also, I'm interested to see if there's more coming. This is a good area in the middle of the northern part. This is where my tent is and my tree stand. And there's really a lot of sandbar here. I also believe sandbar and feral hawks are the only animals that will spawn in this area. You might see some rusa walking. You will not see water buffalo and banteng. Maybe after an hour or two, you you might see a banteng come up here. Is she the one we spotted initially? Takes quite a while to get the spotting information. My skill is still pretty low. And she comes, of course, right to the spot. Now, these are large deer, about the size of Roosevelt, um, almost. So, even with bow shots, you have to be precise or they will run. They do a pretty neat um, animation when they're hit. They jump in the air. Um, somehow and to the bottom and then run away. Looks kind of cool. So this is our first sandbar. Falling prey to the spray. And we do have a second female come in. Walking straight down to the luring position there. I have not applied the spray a second time. But the time is running out. I don't know when I sprayed. I should have checked the clock. But it will have been around 10.45, uh, 10 25-ish. So this one's coming in. And we can start piling them up, I guess. Yep, falls on the pile. <laughs> So I'm not sure how much longer the spray will last here. Oh, I have a call. There is a sandbar buck. He's not going to reach. He's not going to come here. The sprays have a reach of 150 meters. Unless this has changed, this used to be the case. And this buck will not smell this. Oh, look over here. What do we have here? I think we have to change position first. And I just saw something sneak around there. I will reapply the spray. The reach is 150 meters, not like a collar that reaches 220 meters. Hopefully none of them is too close and will spook now. 
So let's keep the pile going here. They really come exactly to the, p the position where you spray, probably even where you stand, not so much where the, the can is. So the time is 10.28, 10.29. The spray is going to last until 10.49. Next animal approaching, next sandbar deer. This one is a small buck. He's circling my tree. This is interesting. And you can see, since the rusa deer and sandbar deer, you can hear them smell. Which enables you to hear them. <laughs> What's he going to do? That's interesting. I heard him come behind the tree and he's been circling me, kind of. Oh, that must be the buck I picked up the call off because it's a, uh, it's got the, the dome track. So this is my current animal. Come on, buddy. The scent's not going to last forever. I don't know about real life, how you would lure sandbar deer. If the scent spray would be your go-to option. Because scents always cost. This one costs 45 EM dollar. That equals about 50 cents in dollars, euros, Swiss francs. So that's real money that you have to spend. How many uses? I haven't even checked. Let's look at the can here. I got 48 uses left, so 50 uses. So you spend a cent on each spray. I think I can shoot it better from here. If it stands still. All right, buddy, you gotta give me the side here. And there is the animation. And we've got a buck running, that is not ideal. It's a long shot though. Oh well, such is tree stand hunting. What I'm really interested in is I thought I had seen a dark animal over here. And I remembered after saying you don't have Bantang up here. You can have them come up here. I think I've seen them, but I'm not sure now. Have we missed a sandbar that never came to this lure? Have I seen a Bantang? Have I seen a ghost? All right, I think I'm, I've run out of spray. Not, uh, I haven't run out of spray, but I've run out of, the spray has run out of uh, attraction. So, thinking about this, maybe 20 minutes, 20 in-game minutes. I know this has always been the case, always been like that, but it's not really very long. Maybe I should spray here next to it. Ooh. So Ban Tang have come up here after all. <laughs> Just wanna crawl to the uh, tree stand. They are super sensitive. I don't want them to spook my equally sensitive sandbar deer. So 20 in-game minutes. 
that isn't really a long time. If Sand Spray is really the lure for Sambar, if that's what they do in real life, then I would think that spray should last longer, maybe an hour or two. Otherwise it's washed out, <laughs> it's not concentrated enough. Oh, check on the clock. We sprayed at 10.54, 53.54. This sandbar buck came trotting in pretty quick. Now he really needs to drop on the spot there. I cannot run all over the place and collect them. He came in pretty quick. Let's wait and see if more is coming. A call from another buck. So they're really coming in here. So this is definitely a good tree stand position. What I probably wouldn't do is just apply the spray and hope. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, sandbar here. So here you can do this, but in another place, you would probably locate the deer first and then apply the spray. And I'm thinking for myself, if any competitions come around, if I have the tracks of a large buck, I would track it down and then of instead, of, instead of calling, I would use the spray. Otherwise, it would spend quite a lot of spray here in the tree stand. It's fun though, you will have, you have lots of animals walking in. So let's just quickly do the math here. We've been roughly sitting around here for 30 minutes, real time. Uh, we've got at least animal number four around, number five. Four I already shot at. That is the same position we slightly missed the other. But this one's okay. We have another few minutes. And then the spray runs out again. 11, 12, another 20 in-game minutes have gone by. What I will do now is collect these sandbar. And then I will follow the one that I shot at, the long shot. It shouldn't be too far. And I will also look for more tracks for another sandbar buck. Double long shot, 167 is the score. This one might be similar. I picked a female. So this one, please. 203, slightly higher, but still not a big one. And the last female. Not too far from the tent, maybe 300 meters. Here is our last buck. He might be the smallest of them all. 151. Now I will look for tracks and for calls. And as soon as I am aware of a hopefully bigger sandbar, I will start using the spray from there. Just collecting the call of a sandbar deer buck. And he could be close enough. The problem is, again, I have to be within 150 meters or I have to move closer with the danger to spook it. I don't know which direction it's going. If it's coming my way, it might see me and run. But this one should be okay. I've been actually crouching after another and that is why this one is calling fairly close. I will just apply it here behind the tree and wait on the route. Ooh, 
Ooh. This guy has been either trotting in or there's another one coming. There is already. They trot in pretty quickly. And if I want to use the bow here, I want to get up behind the root. It's not going to be a big one again. Just checking. Yes, it's got the dome. That means this is my buck. One thirty nine again, not a big score. I think I'm gonna go back, look after my bigger one, see if I can uh, catch up with that and eventually use the spray. This might be the buck I was after. He is pretty big. And he's actually heading for the spray location that I just used, but I've moved away from it. Not sure if he's going into that now. He's going pretty quick, pretty straight. And that's pretty cool, I'm up here. All right, so there he goes. I'm going to use the spray. I'm not sure if he's still attracted to the other location. Let's just use the spray and then observe what he's going to do. I shot another sandbar female after the buck uh, at the spray location. And then later when moving away, I had a call from a third female. So all the sandbar are attracted to that spot now. But hopefully not this one anymore. Hopefully it's going to come here. There he turned. That's yeah, a pretty looking buck. And so we've tested the scent spray. I think we uh, figured out how it works, just like any other spray. You would not likely just spray in the blue and hope for the best, unless you have a really good location like mine here in the middle of, of the map here in the north. Otherwise, you would likely track down bucks or bulls or any animals if you are aware of any animals being around. Then you would apply the... Uh, the scent as we've been doing now. What I don't know is if the scent spray also dulls the senses of the animals. I know baiting does. Bears are a lot less aware of you when they're around bear bait barrels. Bobcat is a lot less aware of you if there's a electronic collar going. And it could be that these um, bucks are also um, they forget about the surroundings. At least this one. I can even reposition. He would have ran if there was no spray, I'm pretty sure. And with the spine on the poor buck. All right. Well, in that case, we're going to finish this video very loud. because I just ran out of arrows. And this buck scores a whopping 339.45. I didn't realize it was gonna be this high. This is great. This is my personal best sandbar. So there we go. New personal best sandbar deer scoring 330. Hunted while using the sand spray. I really believe if you use these sand sprays, this will lower the senses. I would not have been able to get this close to such a big buck earlier. They would have spooked. I've tried it. I know it. But with the scent spray, I was able to get up, shoot it with the bow, 
the taxidermist has done a great job. My animal is fixed and looks great here in the middle position of my trophy lodge. This was really fun to get. I'm really happy with this one. I hope you liked the video. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.